This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show on the 2016 Newport Beach Film Festival Honors Red Carpet, interviewing actor Cameron McKendry about his new movie, Mad Town. You have the face of a star. Oh, oh well, thank you. Dude, you could Thanks definitely be the new guy on Limitless. That would be the dream. Tell me about your movie. So, I'm here for the movie Madtown. Um, it was a movie shot in Cleveland, Ohio, which is where I'm originally from. Um, and it's a film about this guy named Denny who is um, doing a comedy act at a, at a club and um, kind of brings back to life his past, his really, really dark past involving his sister uh, and how she was in jail and how now she's released from jail and kind of coming back into his life and just the struggles he deals with her and, and bringing up their dark past. What do you play in the movie? I play a character that is involved in his past. Uh, his name's Mike. He was a bully and football jock at the, at the high school. <laughs> I know. I know. I always play the bad guy. And it's Dude, well, is there a part of you that is that bad person? I mean, not really. I try to be a, a, a nice, generous was there person. A, well, do you feel there was a, was there ever a part of your childhood when you did beat up on the lesser fortunate? Not really, no. Never. I mean, maybe there was a part of me inside that wanted to... <laughs> Humble <laughs> people? Some certain people, yeah, but no, I would never ever hurt someone. So or... then where did you find this character within yourself? You just kind of have to, man. You have to dig deep and, di and dig into personal experience and stuff that, you know, not really anyone re would really know, but that you kind of have to just dig into it and channel it and have it shine through your character. Has so. there been some adversity or something that helped prime you for the character, like emotionally? Yeah, I mean, there's stuff, obviously, you know, it's, it's not exactly bringing up the character in me, like, exactly. Like, I'm a, a football jock. I didn't even play football in high school. So it's like, but you just kind of have to channel inner stuff, like anger and, and, and stuff like that, and kind of just the violence in you to, to bring it out in that character and be able to, you know, do what I do in the movie, which is just not nice things. <laughs> is that so. exhausting for you at the end of the day? Yeah, I mean, it, it takes a toll. You know, it's like doing those kind of characters and, and stuff like that. It's when it's not necessarily you and you're stepping into, you know, another world. It's, yeah, it's definitely, it's emotionally exhausting sometimes. So where, do you, on where do you go to find the solace? The solace at the end of, of the day after you've been this person for yeah. all these hours. To just know that it's work, that it's my work, and uh, it's a, it's a craft, it's my art, and to know there's a there's a there's a line line between craft and your art and and the real world. <laughs> so, so who are some of the guys that you looked up to when, that you that really pushed you to want to be an actor? Oh. Uh, for sure, Leonardo DiCaprio, man. And I'm so happy he got his Oscar this year. Um, he's one of the greats, man. I love him. Um, I lo what really kind of inspired me to get into acting was actually the Harry Potter film franchise. Really? <laughs> Watching those as a kid was always so so cool and so inspiring. And I was just like, I would always walk out of the theater and look at my mom and be like, I want to do that. But like, well, I what do about that. that was compelling to you? Um, just the fact that it would... I, I, th I think what's so compelling about acting and the art itself is that you inspire people, whether it's, you know, you can inspire someone to find the cure for cancer or, or, or do something. It's just, it's, it's cool how you can move people and really make them feel something just by, you know, your art and your craft and, and what you're doing or saying or in, in, the, in the film, you know what I mean? Or the play or music for that matter. So. so you come off as being a little selfless in that area. Most people are egomaniacs in this oh, industry. Yeah, no. <laughs> so where does that come from? Where does that, do you really want to help people? Oh, do you, do you yeah. or, or is this just like, I want to be famous and have power? Not at all, man. I actually Actually, I, I really don't care about fame. It's for me. It's more just is is constantly. I just want to be working and, and making a living, and I'll I'll be a hap, happy as a clam, man. I don't I don't care about fame, but uh, I think a part of that is my, my Midwest roots too. I'm born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, so it's just it's it's different, but it's um it's just something I've been wanting to do since I was nine years old. So it's 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 awesome to be able to be out here now in L.A. and kind of chasing after that dream. And I want to know really. how your friends or so-called friends, how their attitude towards you has changed since you've started going up the ladder of success. They all have been there for me since day one, man. Okay. Uh, family, friends, I mean, they were seeing me in my first, you know, community theater musical to now going to, um, you know, the premiere of my movie. It's like they've always been by my side and everyone's always been so supportive in my community. Um, and it's it's that makes it all worthwhile. You know what I mean? To be able to do it for them and um, help them see that dreams can come true if you really try. Tell me what's next. 
I actually have a film coming out in September. Um, it's called I'm Not Ashamed. Okay. It's based off of um, the true story of Rachel Joyce Scott, who was the first girl murdered in the Columbine shootings. Okay. So it's her wow. her life story, and um, yeah, that's set for release. I think early September. And what part do you play in that? I play Alex, her boyfriend, sort of. That's heavy, bro. Yeah, very heavy. That's Very getting heavy. into that whole Marilyn Manson like era. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's it's more centered around um, her and her life, and because she was, I mean, she was an amazing human being. Um, you know, super super kind and generous, and um, was just wanting to constantly spread kindness throughout the world and make a change. And um, oh, hey, only the good die young. I know. That's what it's. That's it's a tragic. It's a tragic story, but it's also it's it's beautiful and it's inspiring and it's it's definitely the story of hope inside the tragedy. So that's cool. what's really cool about that. Well, I like you, man, and I I, like I, you too. I wish you much success in your career. You're a good kid. Thank you so much. The blaring out show.